Good day, everyone. Uh, we will be discussing Apache Log 4J Remote Code Execution Vulnerability with the CVE ID CVE-2021-44228. In this section, we will cover the workaround steps for vCenter or Hypervisor Manager within the PowerProtect DP Series Appliance or IDPA. We'll review the prerequisite section. Uh, we'll go through the uh, workaround steps and the demo for the same. And lastly, we do have a knowledge base article 194520, which has these steps documented. As part of the prerequisite, log into the appliance configuration manager or the ACM UI using URL https colon slash slash ACM IP address colon 8543. Log in using root credentials. Click on the PDF icon in the top right corner of the UI to download the configuration PDF. Open the data protection configuration.pdf file to fetch the component IP addresses and their versions. Alternately, users can also grab the IP addresses and version details from ACM UI dashboards. Applying workaround fix on PowerProtect DPCs or IDPA vCenter. Uh, for those, uh, we would need to review the VMware Knowledge Base article 87088 to download and run the VMSA 2021 0028KB87081.py script on vCenter. Once complete, go to the VMware Knowledge Base article 87081 and follow the steps to run the remove log4j class.py script on vCenter. Now we'll go through the demo section. From the VMware KB article 87088, the bottom right corner we can find the python script that's you that's used for remediation so click on that script in the attachments and you should have that script downloaded open that script in notepad plus plus once the script has been opened in notepad plus plus press ctrl a on your keyboard to select all contents of the script press ctrl c copy the contents of the script in the clipboard. Now open a buddy session to the vCenter server. Log into the vCenter server using root credentials. And as soon as you log in, hit shell command to enter the vCenter shell. Now enter command vi space slash dmp space the script name. Hit enter to open the VI editor with that file. Press I to enter insert mode and right click on the buddy screen to copy the contents of the script. Once the contents have been copied, hit escape key and then colon WQ and exclamation mark and hit enter to save the script. Now we will run the script by running the Python command Python and the script location and hit enter. The script will give you a disclaimer stating the all services would be restarted. You can hit yes on that pop-up and the remediation would start. Please note that the script can take several minutes to complete. Continue to monitor the progress of the script. As we can see, the VMON services has been remediated and it's remediating the rest of the services. At this point, we can see that the script has successfully completed. You can see it verified the vulnerability status also, and it was able to successfully verify all the components. At this point, we can go back to the KB 
and confirm what are the rest of the steps. Once this script is complete, we need to go to 87081 VMA KB article and follow the steps to run the remove log4j class script. The script is attached to this particular KB itself. If you go to the bottom right, you will see remove log4j class script. Click on the attachments to download it. Once it's downloaded, open the file in Notepad++. Once the file is open in Notepad, again, press Ctrl A to select all contents of the script, and then Ctrl C to copy the script contents in your clipboard. Go back to the vCenter Buddy session and type vi space underscore log 4 j underscore class by hit enter press i character go to insert mode and then right click to copy the contents of the script and then press escape colon wq and exclamation mark this will save the script now run the script Using Python command. Python and the script name. Enter. Hit yes on the disclaimer which states the services will be restarted. You can see from the output that uh, the script has stopped the vCenter services and it has performed uh, some cleanups. After that, it is starting the services. Now, this step of starting services can take several minutes. As we can see, the script has completed now and we see this mes message done. This marks completion of the workaround. Apache vulnerability log4j on Hypervisor Manager or vCenter server.